Uh, hey kids, um, normally I do my uh, my guitar lessons as demos where I play along with the track, but uh, YouTube has decided in its wisdom that uh, playing along with this one is a copyright violation, so uh, I figured I'd just do it as a lesson where I actually show it. And uh, we're doing it a little different, we're doing it outside today because it's a nice day. Um, so the first thing with, uh, with this particular tune is called All the King's Horses and it's from the Mighty Rearranger album. Um, first thing to do is uh, tune to uh, open C, which goes uh, C, G, C, G, C, E. You can tune to that. And I got it tuned to, uh, to the same as the album, so uh, it is actually in the right tune. And uh, the thing is, so many people I've seen on, on YouTube play this the wrong way, like in standard tuning or something, but, but it's, it's just as easy to play it correctly um, in open C as it is to play it the other way. So if you can play it the other way, you can play it the right way, and it'll sound good. Um, this is my arrangement that I came up with in literally in 15 minutes time, which is how easy it is to play it. So it may not be exactly how the, the guitarist I don't know who played it on the record it may not be like he plays it, but it's good enough to fool most people. So the, the first thing to do is uh, we'll, we'll just go through the intro and then I'll show you because there's really only a couple of parts to it. All the chords are two fingers, um, so they're pretty easy. And uh, they're also, all the chords are both fingers in the same fret. So it's actually a really simple tune to play. In standard tuning, if you can play a two-fingered A7 chord, then you can play this song. So it starts with uh, the intro that goes something like this. That's the intro and it starts from there. So we'll show you that. On the D string, which is not tuned to D anymore, but I'm just going to call them by their E, D, E, A, D, G, B, E names for now. But it's actually tuned to, to C. But on the D string, you hammer, it's a little bit of an odd hammer, hammer up to the 4th and 5th frets and then up to the G and B. So it's... You want to play mostly those bottom four strings. You can hit the bass string, not so much this one, not the A string so much. But it doesn't really matter if you if you get sloppy on that. And then the same thing for the next one. And then play that thing that looks like an A7, third string, second fret, and fifth string, second fret. And you want to hit that bass A string. So it goes. So you're halfway through that. <laughs> then this other one, the other little run is a little bit trickier as a hammer on, but don't get uh, too freaked out. The first part, um, it goes like this in total. So. so it's hammer on on the third string, run it up uh, open, second and fourth frets. So, it's just those two. And then on the next string, the G string, it's hammer on to the, do a little run up the first and second frets. So it's, so then let the B string ring open, which is how you end that one. So, so far we got. big trick so far. <laughs> the the real difficulty in that part is once you get to through with this, you have to hit that last chord, which is fifth fret on that bass E string, and then uh, to the D string, two, uh, two strings below it, same fret. back to that pretty quick. So let's go through the whole thing all together. Then 
he starts with the vocal. So it goes through a couple of those for the verse, and then it goes to that all oh, the king's horses part, and that's just that's through that chord we've already played, that second chord. It looks like an A7, but it's the second fret and third string and fifth string. All oh, the king's horses. That same chord we already played in that fifth fret on the bottom E string and the D string, and the same fret. Oh, the like that. And the second time it comes through. That's the same chord shape. Just run it down from fifth, fourth, and then hammer off on the second fret. And then back to the verse again. No, actually it goes. Now back to the second verse. So it goes through like three or two or three of those. Then back to the chorus. And then it's the the actual real chorus. The, I'll be your soldier. That part uh, goes. Uh, it's all again the same chord shapes. So it's uh, hammered on second fret, fifth fret, seven, nine, back to seven. Then you're switching up a string, back to that same chord shape again. And then back to start, to start the beginning again. And then when it comes to the very end of the song, it's just like, I think it has like six of these. That, and that's the end. So that's how you play it. Again, it may not be exactly the way they do on the album. I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty close. But, uh, you know, most people around the campfire won't know the difference. And uh, if you're experimenting with open C, it may not be a tuning you want to get a whole complete chord vocabulary in because you just don't use it very often. It's, it's for these kind of, this one is sort of Celtic and almost country western, but th there are a whole slew of, you get the occasional, that moody blues thing, you get that and, and a few other ones. But other than that, you're not going to be re constantly retuning to open C all the time. So. Learn, learn the songs that are in it, but, but probably don't become uh, too fluent in it. But anyway, that's, uh, that's some Robert Plant for you.